God is not moved by your macho status before him, by the bigness that you present before him. Hallelujah. Brokenness touches God. And a broken man who is conscious of the work of Christ upon your life, let me tell you that man will go far. Okay? A broken man, conscious of what Christ has done for you, you know you are a candidate of death because of where we are coming from. We know we are candidates of destruction from what our, the lives our family lives. If we are today, it is the product of grace. Sema amen. Now when you know where you are coming from, you will work hard. You see, I have come across many who are serving God and threatening God at the same time. You know, you threaten God. I've tried everything. It's not working for me. I, it's like it's better going to the world. It's like all that. And that does not move heaven at all. You threaten God, you will backslide. Eh? When God will go to hell. <laughs> Hallelujah. You threaten God, if my life does not change, I'll go to the world. Kwani, the Lord is the one who will be beaten by Satan. You cannot threaten. God is good and God is faithful. Is there anything in my life that is a sentence? That God speaks this word. That Saul is going to be Paul. And Paul is my chosen vessel who is going to take my to the nations. He is going to serve me powerfully. But... Because of those things he did and killing Pastor Stephen, there is great suffering that is going to accompany his work. I believe if it was spoken to Saul or Paul, Paul would have wrestled with God like David wrestled with God. Okay? Is there anything that is a sentence to Ishikanisha na Daudi na Sauli? Saul is being told that because you have disobeyed the Lord, the Lord has taken the kingdom and given it to somebody who loves the Lord more. And instead of wrestling with God, he's, what is it? I say, just go with me. He's okay. Go with me. Let the elders of Israel continue to honor me because I'm walking with the prophet of the land. Let the Israelites still assume that the mandate of God is upon me. Come with me. Let us go. And Saul says, Neo to Samuel, you too. That is all you want. Let us go. Let them think whatever you want to think. But no, in the real sense, the kingdom has been taken away from you. You see, Saul was a very carnal man. The trouble that he gave David, this man was attempting by his own strength to maintain the kingdom of Israel. He was trying to maintain it by his own strength his own wisdom. Though in the spirit, it had been taken away from him. But then now we come to find the King David, when he has become king now, and he's faced with a problem because we are all men and we are all in error. There are things that we have done that we ought not to have done. But when the declaration comes upon David, the approach of David says, I have sinned. Nathan, nimefanya dhambi. Prophet, nimefanya dhambi. Prophet, do this. Just go home. Then for seven days, this man lies on the floor. Even the elders of Israel, who Saul wanted to be honored before, the elders could not pick him up from there. You know, saying, God, I've done it. But God, mercy. God, I have done it. God, mercy. Say my amen.